What's up guys and thanks for joining me once again. So today we're talking about something we really don't want to happen. It's your glutes not growing or even worse, them getting smaller. Now, if you consistently work to grow your glutes, this is so frustrating and it's happened to me as well. So it's not just you. I'm gonna go through my top five tips on how we can prevent our glutes getting smaller. Okay, so tip number one is stop doing excessive jogging. Now, I used to actually be a cross-country runner and I can tell you from experience, it will make your glutes smaller. It's amazing at burning fat, it can slim down your legs, but it is not growing your glute. There are other great alternatives for cardio as well. I always go on about it. Sprints, I love sprints. It's a great way to activate the glutes as well. Um, even running up a hill or putting the treadmill on incline is definitely gonna get the glutes working. But excessive jogging and jogging for long periods of time, it's not really gonna do much for our bum bum. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do at the end of this video is actually show you guys a transformation picture. So my body when I was a cross country runner and now my body after weight training. Okay, so reason number two is you are not activating your glutes correctly. I always, always talk about this, but guys, do your glute activation exercises before. I'm telling you, this is a game changer. When I first started training uh, for about a year, I trained my glutes, but without actually activating them before. And the growth I've experienced from activating them is unreal. So trust me, you need to do it. But don't just leave it there. Don't just do your activation exercises before and then leave it. When you're actually doing exercises, make sure you are activating your glutes as well. So what do I mean by that? I mean, when you're squatting and you're getting to the top, clench your bum. You know when the dimples start showing and your bum looks flat and ugly? That means you're activating it right. Your bum is not supposed to look pretty when you're training it. On glutes day, I even do little supersets. So that means, let's say, after I've done my squats, I'll then just do some kickbacks without any weight. Just do, say, 10 reps afterwards, just to really get pumped. Okay, reason number three, it should come as no surprise to you, you are not lifting heavy enough. <laughs> you are not doing these heavy compound movements. You're not doing your squats, your deadlifts, your hip thrusts, all these things that are really gonna push you to your limits. I know that the squat challenge sounds amazing, doing however many of these a day, but you're not pushing yourself. You need weight, you need resistance, and that is what's gonna make your glutes grow. Now I know I'm banging on about all these heavy compound lifts, but guys also make sure you're doing the correct form as well. If you're not doing the correct form, that means you won't actually be hitting the right area and the right muscles. So it's really important to start light first of all, perfect your form and then go right in. Okay, number four. You are not eating enough food to fuel your body. Now it is impossible to build muscle tissue without sufficient nutrients. And your body actually uses your muscle as fuel if there aren't enough calories available. So please do not skip meals. Get your protein, get your healthy fats, get all your good nutrients that your body needs to fuel you through these workouts and build muscle tissue. Okay guys, so number five, which is probably one of the most important ones, is be patient and don't compare yourself to others. Remember, everyone's journey is different and genes largely determine the basic body shape. Although we are able to alter the body structure to help it appear curvier, everyone is going to have different starting points. So please don't compare yourself to others. Remember that building muscle is going to take time, guys. If you keep at it, if you stay consistent, you stay determined, it is going to happen. And I am proof that it has. Yes, that was me. Very slim, little shape. I'm a naturally petite woman and I knew that I wanted them curves. So do you know what I done? I worked my ass off. Oh, worked my ass on. <laughs> anyway, I worked hard guys and I stayed consistent. And do you know what? It has paid off. So I am proof that it is possible. There is another thing you need to bear in mind, and that is that muscle does not build faster than fat burns. So that means, yes, you might lose a little bit of your booty fat at the beginning. When you first get into a regular workout routine and you change your diet, it's natural for you to burn a lot of body fat at the beginning. 
this happens to everyone, it happens to me, but don't fret, keep going, keep working out, and trust me, your muscle will start to grow. The most amazing thing is, once you've achieved your goal, once you've burnt that fat and built that muscle, it's so much easier to maintain, guys. So please do not give up on what you want, do not give up on your goals, and don't stop just because of the time it's going to take. The time is going to pass anyway, whether you're working towards your goal or not. So you might as well just do it. Thank you so much guys for joining me again. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this video and I will see you soon. Mwah. You know, I think a lot of people complain that they don't see progression or they're not getting stronger. And I think it's they're not pushing themselves, you know. You come in and you do a weight that's comfortable. You're not supposed to be comfortable. <laughs>